Also contouring the forehead, the chin area, and next step is I'm gonna to proceed to highlight. I'm gonna be highlighting with the L'Oreal Modern Concealer. This is Latte, and I'm gonna be using that on the under the eyes, chin, the forehead, center of the nose, just the usual places I would highlight. I'll put that uh, in the center of the nose as well, and I'm gonna let that sit for a bit, just a tiny bit before I blend. Why I let it sit is because I want it to, to be a bit more uh, thicker, just a tiny bit thicker. I find when I use this from drugstore mostly, and this is that, the L'Oreal concealer. It's good to let it sit for just a tad bit, not too much less than literally 40, 40 seconds should be enough. And then I'm blending out with my mini roots I can sponge. This sponge is damp as well, so I'm just blending the forehead and I'm just going to blend just like so to the bottom.
I'm just tapping when blending, just tapping, tapping motion. And I'm then going to spray to my setting spray just to give it, I want it to be really, uh, to stay, to be long lasting. So I'm just putting the setting spray on it as well before I blend for the blender. Um, just to make it more long wearing. Okay, so I'm going back in with my foundation sponge just to blend any lines of demarcation between the contour and the concealer, just to make sure the contour, the concealer, and the foundation really blends in. So that line between the, the highlighter and the contour, I just blend that out. Now I'm going in to put a bit of blusher and I'm using the P. Louise base. This is the orange one. I'm just using it a tiny bit, just to give a bit of uh, the orange color, just to give a bit of nice. Uh, flush to the cheekbones really really nice really pigmented this is and then i'm going to blend with my real technique sponge as well next step is to kind of set i'm going to blend first before i set so i'm setting with the l'oreal messier translucent setting powder in the shape translucent literally setting everywhere i put the concealer the highlighters uh, highlighted area under the eye, nose, cupid bow. I'm going to set the smile line, side of the nose as well, just to make sure those areas are intact. If you're enjoying this video so far, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification so you're notified when I upload. Next, I'm going to be kind of contouring at the same time bronzing. I'm going to be using the matte shape and sculpt palette this is the powder palette i'm gonna be using these two shades down there bone beige and i think it's top one top top and bone beige i'm gonna be using those two colors down just to shade to kind of put in structure to contour and just kind of bronze up the face just to give it a very nice defined look Next, I'm going in with a highlighter. This is the Sleek Liquid Highlighter. This is like an Alexa. Just using that on the high points of my cheeks. Literally just putting that in and I'm blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. Just making sure it blends very nicely with the other products on her skin. Blending in and I'm also highlighting the forehead, chin, cupid bow area, center of the nose there, just to make sure everywhere is, uh, the light heat is highlighted. I'm going to proceed to eyeshadow, eyeshadow application. I'm going to start by using my P. Louise base. So this is in the shade 01. And I'm just putting this on the eyelid. And I'm proceeding to use my Real Technics brush to kind of blend that in. Just blend it in place. For the eyebrow, I'm using the Revolution Pro Eyebrow Gel. I'm using this to, this is a clear gel, and I'm using it to kind of sculpt the brow very nicely. So putting the brow in shape, so it's got very thick brow, so I'm not going to be doing much to the brow. I'm just using this eyebrow gel, just to make sure it's smooth and it's kind of laid nicely. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my P. Louise eyeshadow palette. This is a secret sinner palette. I'm using those colors there. I'm starting with the first like pinky shade. This is mainly going to be my 
kind of my main color i'm gonna use it as my transition kind of as well so i'm just putting this in the crease and just blending that in a nice circular motion So I tend to tap it in, then I will start blending circular motion to and fro. And I tend to use windshield wipe wiper just softly as well. But I'll just blend this color in just like so. So I'm just taking my time to blend just my circular motion. I hope you're enjoying this video. Click the like and also subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well. So my circular motion that I got a clean brush and I'm just using that to kind of nicely blend out the edges. Just a clean brush and I'm using the L'Oreal Mercy powder as well just so it's not just to kind of set the top lid like so and also blend it. In. so blend the transition colors so i'm trying to blend out the pink color so it's not very rough on the edges i'm gonna go in with this brown just for the just a tiny bit at the outer corner like so back in with the pink color i've been using before and then i'll just further blend out the outer v as well just to make sure it literally blends nicely the two products in together i'm gonna get another clean brush and go in that color there and i'm gonna use that to further blend out the crease the top of the crease so there's no real hash lines there so that color will just literally add to diffuse it a bit. I'm going in with my MAC pigment and I'm using that on the lid. That's the pink one by MAC. And I'm just using that on the lid. I'll put the link down below. So I put a bit of Vaseline on the lid just to soften it a bit. Then I took that out. Then I applied the lip liner. This is MAC Cock Lip Liner applied. And now I'm using the Dose of Color Sand, the shade Sand. This is Dose of Color Liquid Lipstick in Sand. I'm putting that in the middle of the lip just to make sure it's really it's a very nice nude pink kind of look more nude than pink i proceeded by using the eyeliner this is the nude eyeliner from primark and then i'm using uh for the inner tear dots i'm using a blossom glow wet and white highlighter and i used a bit of that on the nose middle of the nose check out the powdery look from the face i'm now using the mario Bada's stay setting spray and now I'm using mascara on the eyelid just to make sure it's bright. I don't want to fix lashes. Literally very natural look today. Uh, so I'm using the mascara. This is the Carbon Black Mascara. And then I'll use the MAC Lip Clear Lip Gloss on the lips. Just to give it a nice glossy look. And yeah, I'm just blending this up with a brush. Okay, so I decided to do a bit of a reverse counter, so I'm just making sure the cheekbones is well, you know, structured. I'm using the L'Oreal Mercy Translucent Powder, that's in the shade Translucent, and then I used the, just left it for a tiny bit, 20 seconds, and I used the brush to brush it off, and voila, that's it. This is the finished look, guys. Hope you learned a thing or two. Comment down below, tell me what you think, what you like most about this look. Are you going to recreate? Be sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you're notified when I upload. I'll see you in my next one guys. Bye!